Hello, this is Vampire, and uh, happy holidays. Uh, first of all, just wanted to show you my early uh, Christmas present that I got. It's this right here. It's a book, Eskrima Filipino Martial Art. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see this small tag right here, but this is borrowed from the library. So it goes to show you that good gifts, it doesn't have to be purchased and something that I have to permanently own. So anyway, um, I'm going to be looking through this and uh, enjoy uh, reading it for sure. Now there was one thing in this book that really uh, caught my eye that I wanted to uh, present to you guys, but uh, it is my own interpretation, so it's not exactly the same as the way it is uh, uh, described in this book. So first of all, let me just uh, show you the concept right here. It's called the phases of learning, okay? So what I have is four different uh, phases right here, okay? The first one is an X, second one is a figure eight, third one is also a figure eight, and the fourth one is a, a very stylized figure eight, as you can see right there. So, yeah, you can see there's four right there. So, let, let me go through them in order, okay? So the first one is an X. Uh, because this is the art of Eskrima, definitely recommend it for you to go through this stuff with Eskrima sticks, but what I'm gonna do is uh, for demonstration and explaining to you guys, I think it's easier with a training knife, so I'm just gonna do that with this, okay? But uh, don't be shy about using the uh, screaming stick. So the first one is just a simple X, okay? Uh, it doesn't have to be an X. It's basically what it is, is a straight line, okay? So an X, as you can see right here, is made up of two straight lines, okay? So basically any straight line will do, all right? So one and two, you, you could make a crucifix, okay? You could make a square, okay, anything that creates, that is created by straight lines. You can make kind of like a prison cell where it has multiple straight lines, all right? The sky's the limit, diamond shape, okay? Uh, so anything that's just made up of straight lines, that's, that's the first phase, okay? The second phase involves circular movement, okay? So the second one is this right here. It is this uh, figure eight, okay? So we went from an X pattern, and then we went to a figure eight. Okay, so the figure eight motion, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are pretty well familiar with. I'm just gonna do it right here. That's a figure eight. I'm making a figure eight motion just like this. I'm drawing a figure eight, and uh, it's very, very efficient in movement, okay, because it, it just flows. It flows very well. All right, now the third one is also a figure eight, but if you notice, there is an X in the middle right there okay so that's also a figure eight but the x is emphasized what it is is it combines this one and this one a lot of times okay people start off right here okay knife combat or stick fighting you learn your attacks and stuff okay and then you come over here where you become very very efficient and i see a lot of guys at this stage that are they're very smooth and efficient and they flow with their sticks this is when you have purpose. Within the flow, you have the strikes in there. That, that's what this is. So in order to go from here to here, to go here, all right, in the figure eight, you have to have a lot of reps. You have to put in a lot of time and uh, dedication. And then you become very efficient and you, you flow and you're smooth. But then here, to go from here to here, usually is it requires you to get into blade work. So you have to go from sticks, from the scrimmage sticks, to an actual blade like machete and knife, okay? But the main difference there, once again, is it's more purposeful and it combines the first two together. So now, yes, I'm doing a figure eight, but as, as I'm doing a figure eight, there are a cut and a cut, and then I continue the motion because I know that it's supposed to be a figure eight to, be, to flow. I know it's supposed to be a figure eight, but within there, there's my cut and there's my cut. So it's very purposeful. Okay, within that figure eight motion. All right, so that's the main difference there. Whereas to the, the second one was just doing a figure eight. I don't care if I'm cutting, I'm not paying attention, all right? But that third one, it's very important where I'm cutting, what I'm cutting with, what part of the blade, and how I'm cutting. That's, those three questions are very important, and that's what makes it different from just doing a regular figure eight. All right, so the last one, 
is this highly stylized figure eight. And if you think about it, this is the last phase, uh, it makes sense that it's also a figure eight, it also emphasizes the cut, but because it's highly stylized, that in order to do that, to go from this to this, it just means that you have a higher level of control, all right? So let's look at this figure eight right here. This, this X is where the attack, the cut is really taking place. That's the focus of the attack. Right here, the circular part right here is just, it's a continuation to take you to the next technique. So it's like a transition, all right? You're just transitioning so you can go back to another attack. That's all it is. Whereas so right here, yes, it is a transition, but you are controlling the angle of the transition. The, you guys can see that? That's why it's so, um, it becomes a lot more uh, slanted there, all right? So that's what that is about. So when you do that, okay, so instead of coming from a slash to a figure eight slash to a figure eight like this, now you're talking about it looks more like a V shape, all right? But there's still a very subtle figure eight in there. It's almost like a, a boxing a punch right here. Even though it looks like it's a straight line, there's a slight circular oval motion in there. So it's kind of the same thing, okay? Now, I know that a lot of people are probably gonna watch this and immediately try to do this, all right? And they're probably gonna try to get here as fast as they can. And really, just keep in mind, understanding the phases is good and everything, but there's no shortcuts, all right? You have to put in the time. And I constantly go back. So it's not like once I, I do this one and I go to the second phase, then I never go back to the first phase, okay? So even if you are here at this level, you still constantly go back, constantly go back. So please keep that in mind. Uh, train hard, stay safe, take care.